welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. Uh, we are going to do another out of the box card with the February 2021 Paper Pumpkin set. So this time I have used the actual bouquet stamp set or stamp that's in the um, kit. So for most of the projects, we haven't used that. We've used the sayings, but we haven't actually used the um, stamp itself from the kit. So um, this, the demo card, I used the sharing in your sorrow, thinking of you and one of the uh, labels from the kit. This one, I'm going to make a thank you card um, and use the rectangular label. So I used um, DSP from the flower and field set. Um, I've got a bumblebee card base and then I've got the DSP in five and a quarter by four plus another uh, it's actually the opposite side of this in the bumblebee polka dot at four by one and a half and then I used um, the layering squares die with the scalloped edge to cut out the background and then the stitched shape square to cut out the uh, bouquet itself. So what I did is I stamped the image in, with Memento uh, Tuxedo Black ink and I gave it just a minute to dry and then I used my markers to blend it in. I don't have exactly the markers, the Granny Apple Green. I don't have the Stampin' Blends in the Granny Apple Green. So I used the light old olive to do the leaves. And then I used the cherry cobbler, which is the, the red in the DSP. I used the light and the dark um, just to do the ribbon and some of the flowers and then just the dark to do some a bit of highlighting. So that's how I did that. And I don't have the bumblebee um, blend. So I used Daffodil Delight um, for the yellow flowers. And then I came in with the ivory uh, Stampin' Blends and just did some flower centers and a couple of the little flowers and then the center of the roses as well. So another option, if you have uh, an aqua marker or an aqua painter, it's one of the little um, ones you fill with water um, and then you can use to um, just if you squeeze your ink pad uh, together and flip it open the, the ink will come up on the lid um, and you can use your aqua painter to color in um, I'm not very clever with the aqua painter I'm much better with the blends so that's why I chose to do this but you need to then layer this up and then you can build your card so again we used the bouquet stamp from the stamp set in the kit and i used the thank you from the happy thoughts set and again the dsp from flower and field which is a celebration item until the end of uh, February. So still got a couple weeks left to, or I guess a week or so now to, to order from that. So I am just going to adhere this down and just center it and then just pop it down like that. Um, and we can build the card. I'm just going to pop the sample up over here so we can still see it, but so I'm going to take my DSP and put some adhesive on it. This bumblebee, I really like this bumblebee. It's a nice, solid yellow. It's got some depth to it. And then what I did to figure out where I wanted to put the DSP is I know that I want it to come up to the center of the... Um, mat here. So what I did is I actually put um, the adhesive on the back there and I know it overlaps a little bit. The scalloping overlaps just a little bit. So I just attached it like that. 
Then when I go to put it on the card, I can just put some adhesive on like this. And then I can place it where I'd like it to be on the card. Centering that. There we go. And now I need to stamp the greeting in Bumblebee. And so I'm just going to ink that up. And then I know where I need to place this down. So I'm just going to pop that down, flick it off. Oh, there you go. So that is the thank you. I played with the idea of doing it in the um, Memento black ink, but I decided I liked the yellow. It stands out really nicely. So I'm going to put a couple dimensionals on the back here, and then I can peel these off and just center that down evenly. And there we go. So that is a thank you card using the stamp from the February 2021 Paper Pumpkin Kit. So thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks so much.